Yo, a fine girl is a fine girl is a fine girl. Please, check out this beauty. If I don't hype myself, who will? <laughs> I feel so embarrassed right now because I have two people watching me <laughs> misbehave. Anyways, oh my god, you guys, check out this face beat. I'm going to plug her. Please, if you are in Uyo, you want to do your wedding, anything you are doing, she's available to travel. This makeup is fire. Like, her makeup is always on point. Personality, no. This video is not even about her, but. Gosh, you guys, a fine girl is a fine girl. <laughs> Anyways, oh my god, I can't believe the energy I have in this video, considering it's been months since I posted any video on YouTube. But I'm so happy to be back, you guys. How are you guys all doing today? Let me do my classic intro. Hey guys, how are you guys all doing today? And welcome back to another video. I don't know where all this energy is coming from, trust me. But I'm happy I have it because that means I'm ready to be back to YouTube. And I told myself until I feel the excitement to come back to YouTube, I wasn't going to come back to YouTube. So I'm happy that I actually feel, I'm sorry, I just getting distracted with my own beauty. I just can't. Anyways, in today's video, it's going to be a really short one. It was supposed to be this series is supposed to be one video but i figured it's going to be too long if i make it one video so everybody and their mother and grandmother and their father brother haters friends have been asking me what i need to lose weight i can't make that video in one video because it's going to be like one hour this is like a six months journey this is a six month process it started in june and this is december so this is a six month process there's no way i can break it down there's no way i can put it in one video with the way everybody's attention span is like tiny these days nobody's gonna watch so i figured to make it into four parts this is the first part and the first part is why i decided to lose the weight the second part is going to be my diet and what i ate to lose the weight the third part is going to be my exercise routine i'm going to film it with my personal trainer i've already told him so you all watch out and then the fourth and final part is going to be my the diet mentality or the mentality that has helped me lose weight so far so you guys that's what this series is going to be about they're going to be vlogs in between so it's not like i'm going to post back post them back to back but i think i'm ready to be back like and with this beauty like why will i hide this beauty i have to put it on the internet please <laughs> okay we all know i'm vain anyways so let me just start from the very beginning so i started this journey in june and i remember what got me started at the beginning of, of the year i used to watch all these videos all this glow up series where people were always posting. Remember there was a time that it was trending how to become that girl, how to become that woman. So I watched this video where they were talking about, she was saying, yeah, the girl was saying that if you want to think about the woman you want to be, think about the ideal human being you want to be, think about that person you look up to, think about your mentor, your role model, people you watch on TV and you're like, oh my God, I wish I was this person. Think about that person, then become that person. So that's what this this video was a TikTok video it was going around. I think you guys will if I find it, I'll plug it in. If not, it was a viral TikTok video that was going everywhere. Like it was everywhere. So I watched that video and that video just hit me differently. Like I was like, wait, this thing makes a lot of sense. Like there's so many people you look up to on the internet, like, oh, this person is my mentor, this person is my role model, this person is this and this person is that. Nothing stops you from becoming them. So I just told myself, okay, in six months' time, I'm going to become the person. I look up to and one of the things that changed my perspective or my mentality or one of the things I knew I had to work on was my size was my weight I just knew that it was bring, pulling me down literally it was wow it was weighing me down so I decided I was going to work on it but that didn't even really start the process so let me take you guys back and give you a small story time last this time last year actually like two weeks ago of last year in November 2021 I flew. I hadn't seen my parents in like nine months because of the lockdown and the, no, there were no flights and everything. So I flew in to see them, talk about my wedding, and also come for my brother's wedding. So when I walked, me, I was so excited. Like I hadn't seen my parents in a long time. Like I was thinking, like, oh my god, they're going to jump on me. They'll be so excited to see me. I was so excited, like you guys. I couldn't wait to see them. And then I walked into the house, and my 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 mom and my dad they just had this look of shock, like, huh? And I was like, I had to check myself, like, am I, like, what's wrong, what's going on here? And my mom is like, how are you so fat? <laughs> like, and normally my dad is also one that would speak about your size or what you're wearing. He's not that kind of person. He's very chill. He's very quiet. But he was like, that's it. You're humongous. <laughs> so I was like, 
so I actually let's, let's be honest I actually felt bad because I thought like their first reaction to me would be love and joy and excitement to see me but it was more like shock like when did you become this fat whale <gasps> I'm kidding this video is going to trigger you so if you know that you're triggered by these things I'm going to see please watch the next video don't watch this video anyway so that happened to be honest I didn't even take it seriously then I remember one day we were having a conversation in, a, in my office and my GM I don't know how old he is so he was saying something like everything you're doing to your body right now you wouldn't feel the would i say the repercussion or the blessing of it till you're like in your 50s 60s 70s that's when you realize that everything you're doing to your body right now adds up so that one to hit me differently i was like hmm that means i need to actually start working on my health so anyways i went after my wedding went back to lagos and everything life was good life was easy i didn't even realize how much weight i was putting on but i just knew that i was i was always falling sick like i was always calling in sick i was always in the hospital like i was always always sick there is no two weeks that i'm not in the hospital i was always sick like it became annoying even for people in my office because they're like is it like what's wrong with you are you invalid or something i was always falling sick so one day i called my mom and i'm like i'm in the hospital she's like again like seriously but she's like you ha you really have to work on your weight because excess fat is not good it's not healthy you're not going to um it's not it's not going to be beneficial for you long term if you keep carrying around so much excess weight because my mom is a retired nurse so she's like you can't keep going this way you're heading for destruction it's, it's like she was just giving me advice basically so i was I thought about it but i still didn't take it that seriously see the thing with weight loss and fit, a fitness journey is that you, it has to come from you nobody can motivate you to want to do it anyways i still did not take it seriously then um <clears throat> i went to a wedding okay so on that conversation sorry when my mom was telling me about like excess weight and losing weight for my health for my own health though i was like i, I still didn't take it seriously so on that conversation my husband could was overhear what my mom was saying because i put it on speaker so when she was done with the phone call he's like but you know you've put on some weight and you need to work on it for your health my husband has never spoken about my size before ever like no matter how big i become he has never commented on my size but i think at this point he was just thinking because you're falling sick so much you, it's definitely something you need to work on at this point i can't even believe like it was other people that were actually motivating me to get better for myself anyways that was still not like the trigger so fast forward to i think this was april fast forward to april i came down for my grandma i flew down to uyo i'm currently in uyo for my grandma's burial and we all wore white the, the dress code was white we all wore white so i wore white for the wedding and then for the, sorry, the wedding sorry the burial and then later on when they sent like all the pictures i just i was like the biggest person in all the pictures and i was like when did i become so big that still didn't trigger me so in may of this year i went for a wedding with my friend and so you know how you go for all these weddings and the photographers will be outside and they will like take your picture print it out for you and give to you at the end of the wedding so i went for this wedding i got dolled up and everything and one thing with having a pretty face if i do say so myself is that you keep deceiving yourself you keep thinking okay i have a nice face i have a fine face i'm beautiful anyways it's okay to have a nice face but you also need to have a healthy body anyways so the photographer gave me the picture and when he looked even gave it to me i'm like huh who is this person i like i couldn't recognize myself myself so i was still telling myself like nah it must be his camera <laughs> it must be his ankles like i just kept deceiving myself instead of me to actually just work on it so in june okay so i started working on a video the millionaire morning habits so i want i started working on a video millionaire morning habits so the things millionaires do in the morning like so i started researching for that video that video i'll link it up somewhere here for you guys to watch if you're interested so i was working on that video and then one of the things i was seeing that was very common with in million in millionaires morning routine was exercise so like 90 percent of millionaires would say they make sure that they work out like at least three times in a week they make sure that they, they work out on they work on their body they are healthy so that they can mentally be okay so it just struck me like wait like if millionaires obviously they're doing something right if they make this thing a priority then something and maybe because i like money too much i was not sure that like i want to become a millionaire one day i want to be on forbes list so is it possible that 
I need to start and I wanted to I actually wanted to start following all the millennial morning habits like waking up early having a morning routine or exercising unfortunately unfortunately at the time when I was researching and I saw that exercise was one of their morning routines I was so sad I was like oh my god I really don't want to exercise like it's so stressful I don't want to do it but I had started incorporating all the other things that millionaires do like reading books waking up early planning their day planning their finances so I was like I can't leave one out just because I'm lazy and I started doing home workouts so I started doing the oh and I think the most important one why I actually started losing weight is because of my future children so one of the things my mom told me was that she's like you wouldn't be able to carry a healthy pregnancy if you don't work on your size like if you have so much excess fat the pregnancy is going to be very stressful for you so it's not something she was like you might not even be able to obviously if you, you guys already know like it's not like i'm ready to conceive right now or i'm looking for it but like we are looking for children right now at this point in time in our lives but i was like it's something i want to do in the future so why wait until when i'm ready to do it before i start working on my weight i think that was one of the major triggers i was like i also don't want to um i don't also don't want to like bring kids into the world and not have like discipline don't have taught myself about nutrition exercise or maybe i've had my children i can't run around the garden playing with them i can't carry them i'm just lazy and fat and sick all the time so that was a major trigger for me i'm like you know i need to do this for my future children i need to be able to set good examples for them then of, of course my health like i just realized i needed to do this for myself i was sick of being sick and tired i was always sick like our house is two two floors so because there are stairs anytime we order something because of how fat and lazy I was at the time, I will have to beg, beg Casey, Casey, please, Casey is my husband if you're new to this channel, Casey, please help me go and collect it, Casey, please help me bring, like, I wouldn't want to stand up from the bed and do anything, I was just fat and lazy, and I just realized, the woman I want to become in six months time is not a fat and lazy human being, the woman I want to become is someone who, like, walks into the room and owns it can wear anything she wants oh my god another thing is because i've always i started fashion blogging when i was living in dubai so from 20, 2012 i started fashion blogging and i just realized that i stopped for a while because i couldn't afford to be buying plus size clothes and also i i didn't like the way i looked in clothes so i hated using the hashtag plus size model on my pictures or plus size influencer i just i hated attaching a label to myself just because i wasn't working on myself like i just thought to myself and i say you know what it doesn't cost you anything to work on your size it doesn't cost you anything to work on your weight like why would you label yourself plus size when you can work on it i'm not saying that there's anything wrong with this label if you if that's how you are and like that's you're comfortable with it as long as you're healthy i'm not here to um win on anybody's parade i mean please do you by all means i'm just speaking for myself and how i felt so another thing is i've always loved dancing i used to dance in university i used to dance in high school so i've always loved dancing i used to watch people do all these steps and all these afro all these afrobeat trending steps and everything and because i was just so large couldn't carry myself to do it like right now i even have a tiktok account where i want to be putting dances but i'm not going to tell you guys my account name because i want to i want that platform to to be to be a platform where i can just be foolish and do stupid things without thinking about what you people would think anyway so i've always loved dancing I've, I've always told myself like i would like to post dances on tiktok i've always even wanted a partner who be dancing with me and everything and i just realized like i didn't look good when i tried to do those dances because i was just so large so these are all the things that just kind of built up and made me to start working on my health so that's these are the reasons why i decided to work on my health I'm not even halfway done. I still have a lot of weights to lose. My mom doesn't want to hear this part. She's like, you're okay, stay like this. She doesn't want to hear it, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm not even halfway done. I'm, I'm still on the process. But I just told myself, if I wait until I'm done, like that would be like a whole year's journey. There'll be some things I won't be able to remember. There'll be some things that are relevant I, like because I'm not like writing everything down. So I was like, since I'm carrying you guys on this journey anyway, some of you follow my fitness Instagram at my fitness diary if you're not following. And you guys already know like I'm documenting the process. I was like, let me just start dropping these mini videos here for you guys so that when the time comes we can wrap it up but yeah that's this is part one this is why i decided to lose the weight the next part is going to be how i did it with dieting then we're going to do workouts then we're going to do the mindset so if you're following me on my insta my fitness instagram you probably already 
have seen some few clips that i've already put but if not go follow me there and yeah so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this one i hope i haven't triggered anybody this video is not to bash anybody i know that there's a community of people who believe that you can be healthy at any size kudos to you like whatever makes you happy but i wasn't about to deceive myself trying to be fake woke telling myself oh i'm severely obese and i'll be hyping myself yes queen i'm healthy at every size what well, diabetes is knocking on the door sorry i wasn't about to be in that movie so that's why i decided to lose the weight anyways you guys it's been a minute thank you guys for gingering me to come back actually the main a major ginger major one actually came from the girl who did my makeup do you know i don't know your name hey i know i really actually sorry actually came from blessed because i had given up on youtube but she was like just keep posting and then i realized i'm actually excited to sit down and film who will be excited to do with this face beats by blessing please you guys go follow her on instagram house of 20b makeup she's based in Uyo, but she's available to travel worldwide anyways that's it for this video guys Ugh, please tell me i look like a snack in the comment section if you're not a hater okay okay love you guys and i'll see you in the next one also if you have questions about this whole journey leave it and then i'll also do a weight loss q a at one of these things love you guys and see you in the next one bye